I'm calling out all the parents. If you're a parent and your child is in pre-K to elementary school, elementary school to high school, I'm calling you out. The children today, I have never experienced, and I'm, I'm 22. Having to teach and work with you guys as children has been the most traumatic experience of my life. I teach five-year-olds ballet, five-year-old girls ballet. I have a class of 10 students. They don't respect any authority. You ask them, can you stand in your designated spot? They're telling you no and shut up. They're throwing things at each other. They're throwing things at other people, other classmates. You say, can everybody sit in their spot? I don't want to, I'm not doing that. You don't get to tell me what to do. You're not my mom. You confront the parent. The parent tries to argue with you. <clears throat> you know how I know that she's telling the truth, this young lady? 22 years old. I've always said that teaching has to be one of the most dedicated jobs that you could ever take on in our society. For one, you have to do it um, with a ton of poise. You have to have a ton of understanding, a ton of patience, and a ton of grace as a teacher, right? And me personally, I think teachers are severely underpaid, severely underpaid dealing with y'all badass kids. I think a teaching job should be six figures, starting. That's just me. I think educators are severely underpaid. Now, granted, there are some educators out there that are making some, some decent amount of money, but <clears throat> I think overall, <clears throat> educators as a whole are severely, severely underpaid for what it is that they have to go through and deal with on a daily basis dealing with all of these bad ass kids and you know how i know that this young lady is speaking genuinely from the heart but what it is what this reveals to me and shows to me more than anything else is that she's in shock that she had no idea that this is what the, this is the response that she was going to run into taking up a teaching career. <clears throat> she says she teaches ballet. And I remember when I was going to pick up uh, my, my middle boy from school one day, there were a group of kids outside. And, uh, you know, kids nowadays, your, kid, your kids, your kids nowadays have so little regard for uh, parents and adults around them. This is how you know that they're used to this at home. They have so little regard that they don't care that there's another adult present. So I'm standing outside waiting on my son to come out. And, you know, actually I was sitting in the car. I'm sitting in the car and I'm waiting for my son to come out. But I'm sitting right in front of the school so where I can see and have direct line of sight to where I can see him coming out. And while I'm sitting there, these two kids come out of the school and they're arguing. And so you know how it is when you're in school and there's something about to go down, a fight about to go down. The crowd starts to zoom in. They start to run in and they start to gather around, right? And so the crowd starts to gather and these two students, they start fighting. Well, out of nowhere, two or three other boys come in and they are attempting to jump this little boy. So I get out, I go, I go over and I run across the street. And I go up and I sit and I break it up basically. And uh, for a minute before they got a few view of me. Now mind you, I'm 6'4". I'm 6'4", 260 pounds. I'm not by any means some little dude walking up on a group of kids. They did not care. All right. They didn't care until I interjected myself between all of them and said, all right, if y'all want to jump him, y'all going to have to go through me first. Right. But what that showed me was at the time, what showed me one, that my kid is in the wrong school. 
I thought this school, <laughs> I thought this school, and it's not a public school, mind you. None of my kids go to a public school. So it's not a public school. For one, it showed me that my kid was in a, this was maybe five years ago. But one, it showed me that my kid is in the wrong school. And two, it showed me that the kids today are nothing like they were when I was growing up. When I was growing up, we revered and we respected at least the presence of an adult. Kids today do not have that. Why? Because it's being skipped over completely. They're not getting that at home. That is where that teaching takes place, at home. But today, it's null and void. Why? Because you got kids raising kids. You got hood rats and city girls raising kids. You got niggas and wannabe drug dealers and wannabe um, rap artists raising kids or not raising kids. I, w I should say that y'all have been assigned these children because you had them, but you're not raising them. You're not raising them. Society is. And this young lady is obviously, obviously experiencing a shock as to what it was that she thought she was going to experience walking into this teaching situation. And it's sad, it's pathetic. It's pathetic. Let's see what else she got to say. And fuss at you because you tried to reprimand and redirect their kid. I told a young little girl, please sit in your spot. You're not my mom. You don't tell me what to do. Okay. When our mom came to pick her up, I said, hey, your daughter's having a hard time following instructions. And seven times today I've had to redirect her to just sit in her spot. Well, clearly she didn't want to sit, and mind you, this is a mom. Clearly she didn't want to sit right there. So, I mean, if she's telling you she don't want to do something, why well, keep asking her to do it? You know she's not going to do it. What world do we live in? Like A disrespectful one. Who wants to go through that? Not only do I have to deal with your ignorant, unruly, and unbehaved ass child, but on top of that, I got to deal with you. Backing them up. I got to deal with you trying to get in my face when I reprimand your child. I got to deal with you. When I, try to, when, I, when I try to instill some type of discipline and take some type of disciplinary action against your child, now you want to get in my face? That's what these teachers got to deal with? Sweetheart, change your profession. Sweet, you got to change your profession. Get out of there. You shouldn't have to deal with that. No teacher should have to deal with that. What in you guys' brain as a parent says, hmm, my kid not following any direction is a, is a great thing. It's not that serious. And y'all don't have a right to tell her what to do. It's sad. It's sad. It's really, really sad. And another thing that's heart-wrenching is horrifying. It is horrifying. Your five-year-old daughters are asking to listen to Pound Town and Ski Yee. Your daughters, your five-year-old daughters are asking, can we hear Pound Town? I'm playing them Princess Tiana ballet music. I want to hear that. And they are asking me, can we hear Pound Yeah, Sh little Shaniqua don't want to hear that. She don't want to hear no, don't, don't try, don't try to put on no door, the Explorer. Don't try to put on nothing from uh, any of the little cartoons we used to watch. They're not trying to hear that. Lil Shaniqua and Lil Shanquella, they all want to hear Pound Town. They want to hear Sexy Red. And this is the problem that we have. This is the problem that we have. When y'all start to get jump into the comments and asking people what's the problem with sexy red, sexy red, y'all so we just should, we should support sexy red. She just I love her. She's just being herself. You know, she's just being herself. That's just yeah. Keep that shit in the hood. Be yourself in the hood. But y'all pedestalized her. Y'all made y'all created sexy red. Y'all did. Y'all created her. And now she's here providing content for your children to listen to. Now she's here providing twerk videos for your children to listen to. Her and Krishan. 
another terrible ass influence. Krishan can't go nowhere without, nowhere without getting into an altercation. She show up drunk. She show up unruly. She show up messy. No matter how much, how many chances she gets, she never wastes an opportunity to show her whole ass, and y'all support it. Y'all females in the comments support this bullshit. Y'all uplift this bullshit. Talking about they re they so real. They so real. Real ghetto. Real uncultured. Real embarrassing. Real fucking ridiculous. And y'all wonder why. Everybody clutched their pearls when Sexy Red get up on stage and she pregnant and she up there twerking on stage. Are y'all fucking serious? Sexy Red, there was a clip of Sexy Red showing up at a school. And you know what the first thing she did was? When she was introduced and her ratchet ass music came on, she walked into the gymnasium with both her middle fingers up. I had so many questions. For one, who invited her? They need to be fired. Then, what happened in the comments was y'all decided to take up for her because she was showing up to the school to donate some money. Who cares? If this how we got to get, listen, all money ain't good money. Y'all don't, y'all ain't never heard that? Y'all don't know that? All money ain't good money. If I got to take some and accept some money and it's things that come attached to, with it that does not serve the community that I'm trying to uplift and help, I don't need it. I'll find it another way. I got to believe that God will make another way for it to happen. All money ain't good money. I don't care what the hell she was showing up and, and showing up to pay for it. If I got to accept it under these conditions and allow you to come in and hold up middle fingers to my kids and my students and play your ratchet ass music on the speaker system, on the PA system. Nah, we good. I don't need you here. But that's the culture that y'all love, right? The culture. That's the culture y'all love. Y'all eat that shit up. Y'all want the press. Y'all would rather have the press. Y'all would rather have the mire of all the children because Sexy Red showed up. Y'all would rather them go home and tell their parents and be able to tell their friends that Sexy Red showed up at our school today. <laughs> that's what y'all want. Babies. Underdeveloped minds, impressionable minds, malleable minds, and y'all inviting rat, hood rat shit right onto your front doorstep and parading it around like it's a gift to these children. This is what y'all love. Sex, the sexy reds of the community. The Suki Hanas of the community. The Krishan Rocks of the community. Y'all love all that ratchet, wild ass shit, right? Because it's real. It's authentic, right? We got so much work to do.